All right, guys, what's up? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, today we're going to Salonetta, but it's gonna be a walk and talk tour. Um, I already did a bike tour that should have come out before this video on Salonetta. On the bike, I wasn't able to show as much because as you guys know, recording while I'm on the bicycle is kind of dangerous. So I'm gonna go back out there and walk it from the Metro. So I'm walking to the Metro now, gonna take it to the station, Salonetta, and then from there, walk to the main park and then walk around that area. Um, if you guys don't, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Life with David. Uh, I live in Medellin, Colombia. I've been here for five years now, and right now with this lockdown, I'm concentrating on showing Medellin. Uh, a lot of things that most tourists don't see when they come here, um, and at the same time, once the lockdown is taken up or what's it called, released or let go or whatever, when the lockdown's over, I want to show the rest of Colombia and then surrounding countries. So if you are new, go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a lot of content. Uh, from here on out yeah so stay tuned i'll be with you guys in a bit all right guys we're going to la estrella go into salonata and then you go to la estrella and up these stairs and wait for the uh the bus or the train so we're in station exposiciones again like always and we're going to salonata station and from there i'm going to walk with you guys all the way to the, the main park and then around there i did a bike tour like i said i mentioned before if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out. But this is a walk and talk tour. Because I had a bunch of people asking me about Savaneta, if I could show them Savaneta. So here we go, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're at Savaneta Station. Now we're gonna walk. We gotta walk this way, go up the stairs, and then go out the exit, uh, the station. So I'm gonna show you guys how to walk from here to the main park. And then we're gonna walk around, all right? So stay tuned. Coming to the end of the, coming from here, you're not gonna go left, you're gonna go right. So we're gonna go right on this bridge over here. So going left is to a different area. I've never been over there, but let's go right because that's where most of you guys wanna look anyways, where you guys wanna see that area. So Salia exit to this bridge and we walk on. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. It's kinda drizzling right now. We'll see. In this area of Medellin, it rains more often because it's a little bit higher up, higher altitude. And it tends to be, because that it tends to be a cooler, cooler environment. So when you go towards, when you go towards Bello, that way, you get lower in the valley and it's a hotter environment. So depends on what you guys look for, what you guys want, to want you know, in um, living here in Medellin. Okay guys, so now we're coming off the bridge and we go to our left so just turn into the left and walking straight here's the fire station of Savaneta it's actually a quite nice one with some nice fire trucks yeah it's quite nice now it's raining so I'm going to find some shelter if it starts pouring down a little bit more wait it out and then continue the walk so stay tuned so right when I got here in Savaneta, it starts pouring down rain. So I found myself a spot that's not, that's kind of keeping me dry. The bad thing is right next to all this bread. So I'm having to resist, resist. <laughs> but hopefully this will die down soon. I can continue to walk. So, so to get to the um, park is this way. So I'm just gonna wait it out for a bit guys. Stay tuned. All right guys, the rain's over. It took about maybe 20 minutes or so of waiting underneath that that cover and now we're gonna walk on to the park and yeah let's go so i haven't walked this in a couple years uh to be in Salaneta, but let's see let's try to find the park together guys as we talked about in the bike tour the other day Salaneta used to be the um charm of the city like a very small town feel but now it's kind of getting that's kind of taken away because of all the um the high-rise buildings being built nowadays so right now we're still close to the metro and it's almost like uh, the warehouse district or commercial area. Check out this graffiti guys. I know some of you guys like the graffiti. Very nice. Yeah, so we're walking towards the, the park and then I'm gonna walk you guys around the neighborhoods and everything. A lot of new constructions going on over here. A lot of foreigners too live over here as well, I believe, I believe. All right guys, so now we're crossing this street here and going straight. So this is Carrera. 48A with Calle 
a road 68 south 68 south going this way so let's go we go that direction i believe if we get lost we get lost we get lost together yeah i might ask for directions that kind of stuff but uh stay tuned it's still raining a little bit so if it starts raining again a lot I may have to seek shelter again looks like a new high-rise being built let's see so yeah this is Savaneta. this is the beginning of it we're walking into the neighborhood it's a small little area as marco said in the last video i did on the bike tour this is used to be one of the smallest uh municipalities in all of colombia super tiny and colombia is huge it has a lot of different areas so you can just imagine so the popularity of Sabaneta being such a, a Pueblo-like area, like very charming, uh, drew a lot of people, a lot of people want to live in this area, but it's such a small area that it's become so condensed. And that's the negative. But let's continue. We're on Calle 68 Sur right now. So if you guys haven't seen my video on Itawi, this kind of reminds me of it, but just a nicer, just a little bit nicer sidewalks and everything in the stores. You know, there's the old school apartments. Guys, check out this old house here. Super nice. I get around this taxi. Very old house. Who knows how old it is, but it has this yellow thing on it. And I'm not sure that means they're going to take it down to, or destroy it. I might ask somebody. We'll see. Olivia Restrepo. <laughs> ah, muy bien. Gracias. All right, so I asked the question. Um, so it looks like what this house is, what that yellow thing is about, is that it's a fight over the inheritance. So it was a very large family, and I guess the grandparents, the parents died, all the kids, and left the inheritance to the kids, but probably didn't uh, clarify exactly who gets the house or what or how much or how they're gonna split it up. So right now they're fighting over this inheritance. And that's just, man, that's one of my ideas, my thoughts on leaving stuff after I'm gone. If whenever I have kids, if I ever do, I'm probably not gonna leave them a lot of stuff, man. I don't want them fighting over, over stuff that I left behind after I'm dead. That's sad. It, this that could like ruin a family for sure, and I've seen it happen too many times. That's that's sad. But uh, let me put my my top of focus on because I don't want people getting upset with me. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. I know in my family, like my my siblings, we don't get along very much, and when my parents pass away. If they leave us anything, which I doubt they will, there might be some fighting. But I'm so laid back, I'm like, I would ever take it, I don't care. I don't need much. I don't need much in this world. Look at that beautiful building. Yeah, as long as I have a roof over my head, food that I can eat, and clothes, and friends, and, and you know, people around me that I love, I'm happy, man. Who needs all a bunch of material stuff? Anyways, little rant right there. So this is Sabaneta so far. That's with the agency if it's a rent. Maybe if I see a apartment for rent from an owner, I'll call. We'll see, I'll be on the lookout. Ay, perdón, uh, para, perdón. Hola, para llegar al parque. Parque allá, en el campo. Ah, pero, pero también puede ir para allá. Perfecto, muchas gracias. So you guys see, Carrera 46, 46. And on the walk straight this way, she said that we can go either this way or that way and then to the left. So we're gonna do that. Got a little stores. Check out this chair. Huh. Talk about kissing ass. That's awesome. We're crossing over and this is Carrera 45. I want to walk down this way, see if it gets me to the park. I think it will. 
para te para the ice cream spot. Hmm. So these are like the smaller apartments, older, and then behind you have the high high rise being built. It kind of sucks that all the restaurants are closed because I would love to have lunch somewhere. Check out that balcony with the flowers, pretty beautiful. I miss having a sit down lunch. It's been months. All right, so we made it to the park. So like I said in the other video, the bike video, but it's surrounded by these old traditional homes that usually are bars and restaurants and usually are open. They used to have tables and outside to sit. Here's a more newer establishment. Over there's the park, there's the church. So let's go walk around and check it out. Oh, looks like they put a track here in the middle of the street. Huh, for competition, I guess. Huh. Strange. Yeah, there it is. Let me ask this lady what this is about. One nice phone stash. Eh, este es para qué? Para hacer competencia o qué? Para qué, perdón? Ah, para los niños. Y para correr acá. Ah, muy bien. Gracias. So I'm guessing it's just a place. It's, she said this right here for the kids to play. And this, I'm thinking it's just for running, just extra uh, curricular activities. And that's the bike. I'm assuming it goes in a big circle around here. So people come here during the sun Sundays or on the weekends to, to exercise around here. Interesting. Here's the park, all blocked off because of what we're going through, but hopefully things will change soon. I'm getting tired of all that crap. How about you guys? Let's see. So I'm gonna show the park a little bit and then we're gonna walk around the neighborhoods, show you all the apartments and everything. Here's the church. This church is super famous for the valley. A lot of people come here to pray and everything. I'm really not quite sure why. Uh, Marco told me yesterday. <laughs> So I need to look that up and find out the reason why this is more popular than the other ones. So let's walk around here. There was this one show um, on Netflix, uh, Rosa, Rosario Tijeras, Rosario Tijeras was based here in Medellin. And it was about a girl from the barrio who I guess got in with like the rich people here in Colombia and Medellin. But it was funny because there was one part of the show that there was a saint, like a Saint Mary, a Mother Mary statue here in this, I believe it was in this in this uh, park. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody's watching this, that's that seen that, that series on Netflix, Rosario Tijeras, and I'm wrong about this park, let me know. But I think they put a statue of, of uh, Mother Mary here, and a lot of people will make like the, what's it called? Going like, go to the Mecca or whatever, make the trek out here to pray to the statue and put a candle but obviously that was just for the show because i don't see any statue of mother mary around here so it was all hollywood <laughs> a nice fountain here more houses old houses and i want to walk oh jeez i just got showered on by the tree let's get out of here let me clean out the lens if you guys haven't seen that other video of the bike tour the other bike tour, the bike tour I showed a whole lot more because I was able to get around further on the bike. But right here, this place here, El Peregrino, is known for their massive buñuelos. Like their buñuelos are massive. So if you like buñuelos and you want to get big ones, come here. And they actually have really good food here too as well. Unfortunately, I can't go in and eat. But uh, let's go this way. Very religious country. Very Catholic country. So this kind of here, this, this ground is almost like a old school feel. You know, you get the feel of being back in what, the early 1900s, 1800s. I'm not sure. I'm just talking. A lot of people are eating inside there. Huh. All right guys, I'm actually gonna get some lunch real quick. So they have us do the feet here and then for the hands, and then we're gonna go inside and get something to eat. Por allá, gracias. 
Acá. Bueno. So we're gonna sit down and eat some grub, man. I'm hungry. It's a nice little place. So they're taking extreme precautions. Like after these people left over here, uh, the lady came with a bottle, a spray bottle, and just spraying everything. <laughs> so I'm thinking the beginning of this month, a lot of restaurants will be opening up if they pass the process, the requirements that the government's uh, putting on them. Uh, I believe, actually one, one of my friends, she works for the government here, and she was explaining to me that they have to make sure that certain protocols are in place, and then they're gonna be able to let, I think, 10% of their total capacity in to eat, which is not a lot, and a lot of restaurants over here are suffering a big time, because most of their business comes from people coming in to eat. Here in Colombia, when people go, wanna eat at the restaurant, they wanna eat in the restaurant, not order the delivery because most Colombians know how to cook they usually cook from home but uh, this will help a little bit even though it's only 10% will help a little bit hopefully uh, we can all get past this this time we're in right now but yeah it's a pretty cool place I ordered a sopa de tortilla which is a traditional so soup in, um, in Colombia it's almost like Spanish tortilla so when they say tortilla here don't think like the Mexican tortilla that's like, like the flour bread. No, tortilla is an egg. They use egg. So in Spain, uh, the tortilla in Spain is actually an egg pastry thing. It's like an egg. I haven't had it in years. I haven't been in Spain in years, but I remember getting that and it was an egg. It was egg, almost like an omelet. And here they have sopa tortilla, which is a egg soup. It's one of my favorites. It's actually my favorite soup they make here. Um, so I'm, actually, I'm super happy to have that. You know, I've been, I've been craving it for a while. And I got a, a chicken breast, and it's gonna come with beans and rice and that kind of stuff. So when the food comes, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll, let you, I'll give you guys the, um, the rating on how good it is, yeah? So they gave me guava juice. It's actually quite nice. All right, guys, so here is the tortilla soup. Like I said, it's an egg soup. And let me show y'all. So those, so it's like it has rice in it, but those are eggs. That's an egg right there. Absolutely delicious. I love it. Well, I haven't tried it yet, so let me let me let y'all know what this one is like. But you, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me eat. So stay there, and I'll come back and let y'all know how let you know how good it was. Yeah. Wow, guys, this is massive. I'm not sure if you guys can tell the size of this plate. It's my hand, but it has beans, rice, and fried egg. Um, plantain got some potatoes and got the chicken and with this soup and a drink and it's for the price was 11,000 pesos uh, here in Colombia they tend to eat big breakfast like pretty good sized breakfast a very good sized lunch and a super tiny dinner so I think one person said uh, here in Colombia that in Medellin they like to eat breakfast like a king lunch like a prince and uh, dinner like a pauper so this is a massive lunch <laughs> Let's see if I can finish it All right, guys, I finished, holy cow. Done, oh my God. I'm not used anymore to eating so much food. I've been cooking at home since uh, February and eating a whole lot less quantity than that. There's a lot of freaking food, guys. It was good. Uh, from one to 10, I would rate that probably a six or so. It wasn't amazing. But it was good to have food cooked for me and I ate in a restaurant, it was nice. Um, my theory of why the lunches here are so big and breakfasts are massive as well is because the Antioquia probably was um, mostly um, agri, agri I can't pronounce the word, farmland. A lot of farms, a lot of people working outside, you know, working uh, dairy, cows, uh, uh, crops, that kind of stuff. So they're doing a lot of physical activity in the past, of course. So these big mills were to get people through the day of hard work all day. And at night time they very light. But things have changed, man. People don't have the hard work life so like not everybody here. So that's probably why some you see a lot of people kind of with a belly, kind of fatter in Medellin. I'm pretty sure if I kept on eating this way, I would gain a lot of weight for sure, because that was a lot of carbs and fat. But it was good, it was tasty. I mean, like I said, probably six or so. I've had better. <laughs> but y'all stay tuned on a continue walk around the neighborhood. Yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, we're back out walking. That mill was so freaking huge. 
I feel so full. I'm literally gonna have to walk for a while to walk that off, man. That was crazy. But uh, yeah, it was it was something I've been missing to eat out in a restaurant. But I'm not sure if I'll repeat that anytime soon. I might still keep cooking at home. It comes out cheaper, even though that was eleven thousand for that meal. It's not that expensive, but it still comes out cheaper, and uh, it's not as heavy, you know. So let's walk around. So we're coming back to the park. I want to take you guys to a road that at nighttime. I'm not sure if it's happening right now because of the lockdown and everything. But usually at nighttime, they fill up this whole street with um, with street vendors. So that's why on the last video I told you guys that there's some street vendors here for food, and they sell all kinds of like pork cheeks, pork ears, pork snout, like nose, and everything. And I always found it interesting. And every time I've come here to Salonetas with my girlfriend. And uh, I wanted to try that food, but she get, she was too grossed out by it. She wouldn't let me try it. But uh, I'll come out here by myself one time with you guys and uh, give it a shot and let you guys know how, if it was delicious or not. We'll see. So we're walking here, it's kind of still the commercial area. All along these roads would be street vendors. So we're still in the area with a smaller apartments complex. I'm not seeing anything for rent right now, but got a little bakery here. Very nice. Got the high rise. So I'm walking around. The park was back that way. Okay. And uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this area, Saoneta. I know you guys heard a lot about it. Any of you guys living out here, let me know if you guys enjoy it out here. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk down this street. Looks kind of nice. Not the small, this, the smaller apartment buildings, not the high rises that are popping up everywhere. Had to get some gum. So if my chewing annoys you guys, I apologize. But that lunch had a lot of onions for some reason. So yeah, this, this road looks pretty nice. Got a little barber. A little more quiet, because back there, the main road, so much traffic going by, a lot of trucks. That would be annoying living there. But over here, it's pretty good. Looks like Carrera 46B. So you get to the back streets, Saboneta. It's not that bad at all. Hmm, which way do I go? Let's go this way. But at the same time, I can see what Marco was talking about with us. That uh, a lot of congestion and very tiny roads. You know. Too many people. I can see. Too many people clumped together in one area. Hmm. All right, again, the back neighborhoods. Got a little corner store. A little more peaceful back here. Hmm. On that way, looks nice. Don't want to go this way. Over here, it seems like it's like a strato, I would say four, maybe in a, I don't know about five, maybe, high strato five, four. But uh, over here looks like it's a little creek and across the creek, it goes right down to probably a strato two. Just right across the creek. That's crazy. It's almost like the expression of uh, on the wrong side, wrong side of the railroad tracks. But there you go. There's the creek, and that's the other side of the creek. I think I might, I might go over there and check it out, see how it, how it is, how it looks like. We will find out. But 
we'll see what the difference is between stratos but it looks like it's kind of nice on this side and over there was a little bit worse so i might have to make my way back over there and check it out too let's see all right so we crossed over the the creek now we're going this way go check out this area when i don't come what's that yeah what is this is this part here? This is Strato 3 up there, this is the barrio Lato. Like 3 here? Like 3. And more than that, like 2? No, up there there's more. There's a couple of barrios there, there's 3 also. Also? Ah, well. There's a barrio there, there's a barrio there. Is there not Strato 2? Yes. No. Or 1, no. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And how is the life here? Good? How is the life here? The life here is good. Está rico. Qué bueno. Bacano. Qué bueno que podemos salir de la casa y eso muy bien. Claro, pues sí. Ah, les cumple. Pues ya 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 trabajó mucho. No, y ahora es tiempo para descansar. A este es tiempo de meditar, de entregarse uno a Dios, descansar. Exacto. Pero más que todo para cultivar el alma. Ajá. Ah, muy bien. Muy bien, pues. Voy a ir caminando para conocer su barrio. Sí, eso allá es el alma. Ajá. Para abajo es calle larga. Ajá. Este es el alma. Y aquí yo veo entre amigos. Muy bueno. Entre amigos. Y por acá vienen muchos extranjeros caminando. Pues, siempre vienen muchos. Más que todo, pues muchos venezolanos. Ah. Ya está inundada de venezolanos, pero como americanos, pocos. Muy poco, pocos, por acá. Sí, poco, sí. Ah, bien. Usted es de Estados Unidos, ¿sí? Sí, yo soy de Texas. Mm. Sí. De <risa> estoy, estoy grabando para mostrar todo Medellín a, a, mis, a la gente de Estados Unidos, ah, para que bien, ellos saben que acá es muy bueno. Muy bien, <risa> Sí. Yo, te, yo tenía ya un hermano que fue en, ¿qué es el, trabajando con el gobierno él. Ajá. Oh, con el gobierno. Eh, y se hizo americano. Ajá. Lleva 35 años la familia, pero él murió, murió joven como de 45. Ay, la familia pesar. se cagó allá todo. Mm. La esposa murió como a los 5. Ajá. Como a los 20 años del morir murió la esposa. Ajá. Vivian era el lobo de Massachusetts. Ajá. El lobo de Massachusetts. Ah, Massachusetts, sí, sí, sí. sí. Decía que Nueva York es la potencia del mundo. <risa> el mismo de Viera. Sí. Nueva York yo no lo cambio por nada. Ah, muy bien. Yo soy bien. americano ya. Ah, Me pues. Yo a Colombia, pero yo ya por aquí ya no, no vengo de la paz ya. Cuando le cuando le gobierno me ha dado la Usted sí venía a visitar a, la, a mi mamá. Ah, muy bien, pero pues. Pero no me quiso llevar, o si no, yo tenía, mira, también 40 años que estaba allá, pero sí. la vida no me dio para él. Ah, pero Colombia rico. A Colombia sí, sí. Colombia claro. Colombia es bueno porque es el mismo de día. Ajá. Colombia, pues, es un país que tiene muchas, muchas eh, riquezas en café y cosas así. Ajá. Café. Café y muchas cosas, porque aquí exportan mucho banano y flores. Ajá, claro. Flores y, y banano. Y, claro, tienen todo. Y tienen todo. Tienen mm. muchas riquezas y cosas de comida. Muy bien. Porque hace todo el mundo que no me dice. Ajá. Y es muy bueno. 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 Sí, claro. Es muy bueno. Claro, claro. Pues. Pero, pero un plato de río, güey. Ajá. Con, con chicharrón, arroz y tajada y su sopa, un plato de brío, ah. es una comida rica. Riquísimo. Aquí todo artista que viene de todo el extranjero dice que la, la, que la comida paisa. es muy buena. Sí. Porque la comida les gusta, ah, como le parece la comida rica, rica. Un eh. sancocho bien hecho de pezuña, de carne ahí, y bastante revuelto y bueno, como los ríos con arroz. Con... Ah, muy bien. Bueno, así decía. Dicen los que vienen, como Rafael y Sandro cuando venían acá a presentar toda la gente americana. ¿no? <risa> mm. 
pues mucho gusto señor, que, que pasen buen día bueno. y gracias por toda la información sí. y además que Dios lo bendiga igualmente Pero ya, a mí no me grabó usted ¿cómo? a mí no me grabó eh, estoy ah. grabando todo ah, sí, sí. <risa> usted va a ser famoso ah, bueno. <risa> chao, chao. So, I was talking to him, and this right here is a Strato 3, all the way down, he says, so I was wrong about the Strato 2, and uh, wanna, bien, gracias, um, and he was telling me just that, that here in this neighborhood, I asked him how life is here, and he says, great, and how, I asked him if a lot of foreigners come to this area, in this area, and he said, not that much, he doesn't see very many foreigners, a lot of Venezuelans, but not Americans. And then we, he told me how his brother moved to the States, got, uh, took his wife over there, all the kids are Americans. His brother loves America, doesn't want to come back home. Actually, he just recently passed away, but didn't want to come back home. And, uh, but I told him, I said, but Colombia is wonderful. Colombia is a great country. And he said, oh yeah, everybody loves to hear the food. He started talking about the food, the bandeja paisa sancocho, which is a soup and all that good stuff so really very nice man so that, that's just an example guys how nice everybody most people the majority of the people here are super nice if i wanted to i could have a conversation with everybody here but the problem is translating it by writing that's hard but maybe i can do conversations and then afterwards kind of give you guys a translation in english like just how just how i just did let me know if you guys like that that i, I talked to them and I kind of gave you a, what's it called? Cliff note translation of what happened in the conversation. You know, so it looks like the cops are walking around a lot here. I saw the cops here and one dude, the, the, the face mask on, they're like, put it on. So they're enforcing that right now. Thank God they're not saying that my face mask is not good enough. So look guys, this is still Sabonetto. And I'm not seeing that many, oh, there's a high rises over there. But I think this area, if I was to move to Salonetta, I'll be in this area here, across the river. I like the feel here, I like it. Seems like it's not that built up yet. And as I said, it's not built up yet. Here's a brand new building <laughs> coming up. So, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah guys, I was totally wrong. Just that little small section I saw across the river looked very, very poor. So probably that little small section was poor. The rest is quite nice over here. Coming to the back of this neighborhood, y'all can see all the new buildings here. All the new construction. So if you want to hire more modern apartment, these are where it looks. Also, if you want like a, a great view of the of the valley. Looks like they blocked off this area with a fence. Because they're probably gonna tear it down. These buildings here, yeah, they're definitely gonna tear that down. They're gonna tear down all these buildings and make some more high rises. So Hopefully this whole place won't turn into massive high rises everywhere because I prefer these quaint apartments. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Most likely that's what's going to happen. Let's see, let's walk this way. There we go, guys. Check it out, this area. Hmm. Let me know what y'all think so far. I think I'm walking to a dead end. But I was intrigued by these houses at the end. These colors over here. I like these colors. I love it when they paint a different color, man. What's over here? Alright, so I thought it was a dead end, but it looks like here's a, a wall with a gate inside. Let's go check out what's inside. Indesa. Huh. All right, so you got your tennis courts. What else we got here? Got your basketball, indoor soccer. Yeah, it's look like a sport facility here. Not even sure I'm supposed to be back here, but I saw a guy riding his bike through and the gates were open. Oh, they got a little gym too. That's real nice. Let's see. Let's see what we see inside. Wow, that's nice in there. Huh. Must be the neighborhood sports facility. 
That ain't bad at all. This soccer field over here. And what else? What else can we find? I'm probably gonna turn back around and go back to that neighborhood because I like that neighborhood over there. I wasn't done investigating. goes off over there but I don't think I want to go that way I want to go back and investigate more of that neighborhood so let's go back neighborhood store gotta watch your steps always yeah just a small little town like a small little pueblo that that got taken over by by Medellin you know very tiny roads. Guys, check out this extravagant house right here. That is super cool. Check this out. This building. Wow. And they got the lions in front with the face mask. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I love how they did it. And I'm pretty sure their terrace is amazing too up there. I just can't see it. That is cool. Huh. Got your barber. I'm gonna need a haircut pretty soon again. Let's see. That is nice. Let's walk this way. Check it out guys, the buildings. Yeah, this is still like old neighborhood Sabaneta, I believe. Hasn't been taken over yet. Looks like this house right here is for sale. So, like I think what Marco talked about before, a good investment is to buy like an old house like this, take it down and put up like a five-story building, apartment building, whatever, something like, something like this similar, or a little bit wider. But uh, yeah, he's he's the expert in that kind of stuff. It's good contact to have for sure. Let's see. Looks like this is probably Strato 2, this area. If you guys can see the difference, let me know. So right now we're in Calle 76D South with Carre 47BB. Got the rappy back there all lost, <laughs> like me. <laughs> so yeah, it's... There's nothing like, I haven't been in an area like this in Medellin. You know, that's building so close together and tight roads. So far, I'm still exploring all Medellin. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Help me out. I think I'm at 522 people. Subscribe to my channel now. And my first goal is to get to a thousand. My next goal is to get to ten thousand. So you guys help me out. Subscribe. But uh yeah. Very interesting place. I've never walked around here. Never ever. I never crossed that creek. And I'm liking it. So let's check out this old house here. The old traditional house. There's another one right there. Let's go walk closer. Check out this old traditional house here. Who knows what year that is? Marco, if you're watching, around what year the house was built, if you know. And then this one, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. All right, so which way should I go now? Look at this. And it's funny because all these traditional apartments and look at this massive, massive apartment complex that they built up. It's probably like how many people you guys think are living in this in this massive <laughs> building that's incredible thousands and thousands of people holy crap holy crap huh check out this other old house in the corner that is so cool that right there that's not gonna last it's not gonna last at all it'll be torn down there's another older house back here with this garden 
to have a house with a yard like this is so freaking rare inside Medellin, like in this area. Man, <laughs> that's prime real estate right there. All right, let's continue. So let's check out this house, guys. This is an old dilapidated house. They're definitely gonna tear this down. But if you look through the door, there's another door back there into a back building. I'm super curious to walk in there, but I don't want to get in trouble. Maybe one of these, maybe in the future, I'll get more courage in my videos to do things like that. But I see a bicycle in there too, so probably someone's living in there, probably a homeless guy or something. But uh, yeah, let's carry on. So I'm walking down this alley here. Uh, who knows, this is gonna be a dead end. But it's nice and cool with the shade. Let's see. Interesting. Oh no, I hear thunder. Seems like it's gonna rain again. I saw this super old house with people sitting on the porch and I wanted to talk to them. But I got kind of shy in the minute <laughs> towards the end. They were kind of looking at me funny. They were looking at me with the slanted eyes for me walking around with my camera like this. So I was kind of, I didn't do it. Maybe when I walk back, if I see them again, I'll, I'll talk to them. Maybe I can record the house or something. But if the problem is, with this, what we're going through, this uh, epidemic or pandem pandemic, whatever we, we want to call it, people are super, super nervous right now, especially letting a foreigner into a house. So once this thing blows over, it's going to be so much easier, so much better. Check out this uh, workout area. So I really want to go back here and do some workout, but see how secluded it is? Huh. Maybe I'll go there and do a couple pull-ups and then keep walking. Nice old car. Oh, that's a nice house right there. All green and the balconies. I'm not getting a sense of being dangerous here at all. I think it's super safe here walking around. It's good, it's a good area. I don't know if y'all can see up top. That is so cool. With that, that terrace and the balcony, that's awesome. I love all those plants up there, so cool. <laughs> also funny, if I was to stop and look up and point, then everybody in the sidewalk will look up as well. <laughs> this is how it is, man. All right, guys, so we're done with this side, the, the creek. Coming to the, the river, the small little creek. We're gonna cross back over and continue walking. Cross it back over the creek. You guys tell me in the, in the video if y'all see a difference from this side, from that side to this side. Let's check it out. Tell me y'all see a difference. I'm trying to train you guys. I'm trying to train y'all's eyes to know in between the stratos, that kind of stuff. What to look for, how does it look, that kind of stuff. So when y'all come to Medellin, you could be experts. <laughs> All right, so here's some more of this area on the other side of the river. This is the side of the river where the park's at. And it looks like it's gonna rain again. I told you guys in the beginning, Sabaneta gets a whole lot more rain than Laureles or Bayo or other places that way. So if y'all don't mind the rain all the time, then this could be a good area for you. Nice house there. Ah. All right guys, it's raining again and it always freaking rains. So right now what we're doing is we're waiting up below the um, the roof. Now it's 20 minutes or so, and then it will go back out and walk more. So stay tuned. The rain's over. I'm out walking again. That took a little bit longer than before to get over, but it's all good. So let's walk around a little bit more. Show y'all more of the neighborhood. This. Apartments up there. Huh. We're on the main road again. This is Carrera 45 or 73. What? Hold on. Ah, yeah. Carrera 45 this way with Calle 73 Sur. So, this is where we're located right now. I just realized 
that when I'm pointing out the direction and I'm doing this in front of the camera, I'm thinking people are thinking people that I'm waving at them. I don't mean to do that. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> what is this place? It's like a daycare. Huh. So this is a, the happening street right here. It looks like a, a lot of restaurants will be right here usually when things are open. Huh. This is, we're on, what road are we on? Calle 72 South with, I can't see this road. Let's see. Can't see this road. But yeah, it's nice. It's a nice area. Huh. What else? Interesting. I want to walk down this way. This way now. I'm going towards the park again. Yeah, so this is Savanetta, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Look at this uh, super hip barber shop with Corona. Oh no, <laughs> they got Corona, but it's the beer type, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're nearing the park. There's some high rises, and we got the church this way. Let's see. So, what I'm gonna do when I. Se vende, right? Se vende. That's for sale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video short because now we're coming back to the park, and you guys have seen a good majority of Salaneta. Of course, there's more to see, of course, but I can't walk down every single street. And everything that'll be too long of a video but uh i hope you guys enjoy this video if you made it then let me know in the comments and uh you guys have a wonderful day stay with a positive attitude and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe let's get to that thousand subscribers then after that let's get to that ten thousand. yeah so i'll take take care see you on the next video ciao